All right, guys. So technically, my day starts the night before. So I'll get home from the gym and I'll, I'll prep all my stuff for the following day. So I'll set up my post-workout shake and I'll hit the gym right after work. And I'll have all my morning supplements set up and ready to rock, all right? So usually I'll start out post-workout shake for the following day. Go ignition. Formula One, Lupti Fruit is best. My problem is doing this without making a mess. So one scoop of ignition, two scoops Formula One, which is the post-workout stack. I take that a step further. I add some glutamine, if I can get my pudgy little hand in there. And creatine especially since I'm trying to put some size back on. Post-workout shake, done. Squared away for tomorrow. I throw that in my gym bag, and it's ready to rock as soon as I'm done with the gym. Next, I'll set up my pills for the morning, and that's joint mobility, hair, skin, and nails, full mega, and anabolic bridge. Anabolic bridge is one of the last things I'll take before I go to sleep, so. Also start my day with it. So do some of those. Some full mega. Full mega has helped me a lot with um, a tendonitis issue I had in my arm. Help reduce that inflammation. Hair, skin, and nails. And joint mobility. That's it. So post-workout shake for tomorrow's done. My supplements are set up. Get my micro factor here, throw that in there. I'll do greens before I go to sleep. I'll do them first thing in the morning again. I'll have a level one shake in the morning. And uh, that's it, I'm gonna take a shower, probably eat again, go to sleep. And uh, we'll be back in getting this thing rolling in the morning. Regular day for me would start either 3.30 or 4.30 in the morning uh, as my alarm goes off. Probably the most frequently asked question that I get is how do you do it? Like, it's how do you ma manage your time? How do you divide your time between work and training and first form stuff and other stuff? And you just do it. You know, everybody says you don't have time, but you don't have to watch your TV shows either. You know, you, there's certain stuff that you can put on the back burner that you don't have to do. Take my morning supplements, you know, I do my OptiGreens, I do a level one shake, to kind of get me going. Becoming a first form athlete is life changing. Cause it's not, I feel like it's not like getting sponsored by some other company. Watching old athlete search videos, it felt like I belong with first form. Everything that I, believed in, morally, aligned with First Form's core values. People see First Form, they see results, you know. They look at um, the Transformation Challenge and how many lives have been changed by that. And the, the results that we get, you know, we're pretty much giving away free training, free training programs, free nutrition programs. And, you know, there's no other companies doing that, you know. And, it just goes to show you that First Form is based on results. You know, they're not trying to sell you some bullshit. Um, and becoming one of their athletes gave you that credibility, like, all right, listen, this is what I'm affiliated with and I'm proud of it. And it felt like you accomplished something really amazing. Being in shape as a law enforcement officer from that whole standpoint of things is, you know, your job is to protect people that can't protect themselves. And, you know, I feel like you should be, be able to do that to your highest potential. You know, you should be in the best shape 
best shape possible. You know, you don't have to be a fitness model or a professional bodybuilder, but you should be out there taking care of yourself, you know, work on yourself after work, you know? There's more to it than just going to work, collecting a paycheck, and going home. I've been in situations at work where if I didn't work out, I wouldn't be doing this interview right now. I, you know, I'd probably be dead. There's not always gonna be somebody there to help you, so you gotta be able to uh, defend yourself, protect yourself, protect others, protect the people you work with. Because um, at the end of the day, it's, you know, the most important thing is you go home to your family. This is it, man. Every time anybody sees me work out, it's like with all the first one crew and everybody's hype up. This is every day, like real life, like 99% of the time, I'm in here training by myself, man. There's, there's nobody here, you know? No motivation, there's nobody cheering you on. This is you and that guy right there. Today was a long day, man, and I don't really feel like doing this right now. But you recall on some memories, you put yourself in some situations that you've been in in the past, and you trigger that mentality that whatever you did to get yourself out of that situation, whether it be a situation at work that you got yourself out of or a situation in your personal life that messed you up, that just pisses you off, tap into that and go to work. I think that's it boys and girls you know there's days where you really just do not feel like coming to the gym at all today was one of those days um, but sometimes actually most of the time those days end up being the best workouts I don't know what it is but you come to the gym dragging ass and you're just tired they end up being the best workouts and no matter what, if it's a good workout, even if it's a bad workout, you always leave feeling better than you did when you came in. So I'm gonna go home, set my meals up for tomorrow, set my post-workout shake up for tomorrow, tomorrow's workout, because no matter what, I'm coming. I'm gonna go to sleep and do it all again tomorrow. All right, guys, that's the end of my day. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Um, continue to kill the rest of this week and never settle.